Ian, we have a happy day for video game preservation. Yes, we do. So, a Konami QTA adapter and a copy of Space School for the Nintendo Famicom made it into a collector's hands and was subsequently dumped um, to the internet for preservation. Um, this is a very rare item. Um, it wasn't sold to the public the um, QTA adapter was used in conjunction with NHK in Japan to um, basically provide educational games to schools and um, because they weren't ever circulated to the public I'm assuming that a lot of these were asked I'm assuming that these were kind of leased or loaned that would be okay. my guess so there's there's almost none in circulation so the um I believe his name is the Russian cl the Russian geek uh managed to like the name. uh find a copy of the game and contemplated pick picking it up but didn't have the adapter and without the adapter there's no way if the cartridge would work and that stuff's very expensive. Sure. Um he made the deal and uh, I believe according to his uh, video, from what I could tell, um, it was somewhere in the range of 99,999 yen or something like that. So 100,000 yen? Uh, yeah, thereabouts. It well, was, I don't know what the patent is on that. 100, I'll look it up. 1,000 yen, $2. So he was able to get it and... Um, like nine or, nine or $50. Okay. And then had it dumped. Uh, so the game that was dumped was uh, Space School. And I think there might be multiple in that series, but Space School um, is a educational math game uh, with a futuristic setting. Um, it's very video gamey looking. Your students on like a space station, uh, and the graphics are awesome on it. It looks great, and the sound uh, track is fantastic too. So these are exciting discoveries. The um, adapter itself actually adds uh, expansion RAM. Um, Wow, okay. Yeah, it adds expansion RAM. Uh, so unlike, say, the Aladdin Deck, uh, Aladdin Deck Enhancer... Which does jack shit. Which existed only to put <laughs> another gate between a game and a system, uh, this isn't just so that the games can't run without it. It actually adds more RAM to it. Um, two microchips for eight kilobytes of the RAM By extension. By the way, the Russian Geek video, it's in Russian, but there are English... Uh, captions you can click on. I'll, yeah. we'll, we'll link that here. So here, real quick, it's a hardware extension to the Famicom. Uh, let me get all uh, providing extra technical capabilities. Consists of RAM for upgraded graphics, and then come on, they uh, video ROM with the graphics of the fonts for the symbols, um, software ROM with the system libraries, and two microchips, eight kilobyte for the RAM extension. So that's all in the adapter itself. Um, gotcha. Main RAM and PPU RAM. Um, oh, and then there's a, a Konami VRC5 chip in there as well. Did you say what that does? VRC. The VRC5, I believe, is um, it's. I think that's a mapper. I don't know, but it's a. Uh, um, does it add like extra scrolling? It, it, effects, it controls everything else. As, okay. Yeah. So it controls everything else. Yeah, I mean, this looks like. It's so like one of them. I mean, just looking at this, just looking at some of the video. This is like, yeah, this is like one of those late release, sort of, NES games like Kirby's Adventure. Like, like, wow, they really pulled as much pu much out of the NES that they possibly could. Yeah, no, it's legitimately gorgeous looking. Like, it's it's a really nice looking um, game, and it has you doing math equations and stuff like that. I didn't, uh, I to be honest, I didn't it, look into a lot it, of what the game is. How does it compare to Space Shuttle Project? That's the key. Well, I yeah, mean... That's the key. You're we gotta translate this. We gotta get a ROM hack. You're, you're comparing apples and oranges. We gotta... We, <laughs> we gotta do space School, Space Shuttle Project? I'm learning to go to space, Ian. Alright, a, a lot of the... a lot of A lot of the math takes place on a blue screen. Eh, it's not super interesting, but the students are very cute looking. Oh, yeah, I saw that before on the video. So... Very in-depth video uh, by the Russian geek here. So it's it's uh, impressive. I'll just say this: I love how he's playing. They, they, they show like the knockoff Russian Famicom they're playing in the videos. You yeah, see yeah. how cheap it uh -huh. looks. No, it looks like a PS One. It's like a PS. It's got like teal teal buttons on it. Yeah, <laughs> looks like a PS One. Uh, and I believe, let's see, that they uh, also got some dumps from someone else. 
Uh, yes, what's especially cool is that Russian Geek's purchase of an adapter allowed some other entries in the Space School series, which had been previously dumped but were never playable, to now be compatible with emulators as well. Because they had to get the information so from the, the adapter? The adapter. The adapter would... is that rare, huh? Because, like you said, it was this wasn't a retail thing. So Yeah, apparently the adapter is rarer than the cartridges, which makes sense. Um, yeah, that makes sense. They wouldn't make more of them. Uh, so... And there it is. And uh, if you just want to see footage of video of Space School in action, uh, there is a video of this Kotaku article that was put together by my pal Frank Cifaldi. Uh, and you can check out what it looks like in the music and all that. So let you know how, how just you know strange of a thing this was. This is something I never heard of this adapter before. No, I've never, never heard, never of, heard it. of it. And let's see. It looks like there was even one made for uh, employees of an oil company. Yeah. One of these cards. That's, that's like a, such a strange thing. I would love to see that one. And the only, and then it links to a Kotaku article from 2008 <laughs> to explain that. It's called The Gentle Physics and Science of Hazardous Materials. <laughs> Developed right. for, 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 for a petroleum uh, company. Bidding started at uh, $10.50 on Yahoo Auctions, and it closed for $4,213 in 2008. So this is how rare uh, you know, these titles are. Now, again, this is something I never even heard of this adapter for. The the QDA or the QD? <laughs> QDA. QTA. Now I want to see I want to see this oil game now. Yeah, I really want to see this. I want to see the oil. petroleum game. Mm -hmm. All right, so check out uh, Russian Geeks uh, video. Take a look at the article. Get educated. It's a very in-depth article. They blur out the face of some developer for some reason or some guy working on it. I think it's the them. guy who's dumping the ROMs. Okay, they blur his face out. I don't know if they changed the sound of his voice there. All right, moving on.